Finally today, as he approaches his 25th episode here on the Georgia Farm Monitor, Ranger Nick, a.k.a. UGA Associate Professor Dr. Nick Furman, has spent the majority of his time teaching us about things above ground. Ah, uh, yes, but recently, Ranger Nick and myself took the segment underground to learn about the many caves here in the state of Georgia. One cave in particular, Frick's Cave in Walker County, which is home to a colony of rare gray bats mm -hmm. and protected under the Endangered Species Act. So you see the gear that I've got on to go into a place like we're in today. Not just anybody can go into a cave, and I am joined by two cave experts. E.T. Davis and Sarah Keyes are sitting with me today. And Mr. Davis, tell us a little bit about your role as it pertains to caves here in North Georgia. Well, I've been caving for about 45 years and have grown with the whole uh, process, and I'm currently the Frick's Preserve Manager. And... Good. So, and the years that you've been doing this, do you often see folks that come on that one day a year that you can come here and come in? Is that a magical time for folks? Yes, that's a very special time. Very, very special. They, they get access to the cave and can see what's going on here. This cave is managed, e each cave owned by the Southeastern Cave Conservancy has its own management policy to suit that particular cave. Mm -hmm. And this one is, is well protected and still has access. Other caves are very wide open. Interesting, and so if we were to get stuck in here today, Sarah Keyes would be someone who would certainly be able to help us, a certified cave rescuer. And Sarah, tell us a little bit about your role in the cave world here in North Georgia as well. Well, I'm uh, also part of the management committee, committee for Frick's Cave, and the cave is closed throughout the year to protect the bats it's only open for members and their guests once a year and it allows the people who contribute to the cave conservancy to see where their money's going and how they're actually protecting the bats and um, that to protect the bats and the property around it is one of the major focuses of the southeastern cave conservancy uh, a couple of the other roles i am also a member of the walker county cave and cliff rescue team Good. and we respond to calls in Walker County um, both in caves and cliff related uh, for if someone is is hurt while they're rappelling on a cliff or we also do searches if someone is like a hunter or a hiker gets lost we get paged out for those kind of things too we're part of the fire department so from the recreational side aren't we glad that we've got these two individuals with us today so right off the bat no pun intended. We've talked about the recreational side of a place like this. Let's talk a little bit about the ecological benefits that a place like this provides. So we've driven down the road about 10 miles to another cave, and I'm joined by a couple wonderful assistants here, Gabby and Abby, and Sarah's with us as well. We've just found a couple of salamanders back inside of one of these caves, and what's interesting is, is that from an ecological standpoint, a lot of benefits here. You're noticing that I'm not running over with Gabby and Abby and grabbing a hold of the salamander to show it to our friends at home. Sarah, why wouldn't that be a good idea in such a fragile habitat like this cave? One of the most important things to remember is the National Speleological Society's motto is take nothing but pictures and leave nothing but footprints. And that is a great, I guess, motto to go by, a, a guideline that you should respect the environment. These animals are here because they live here. We are visiting their home and we need to respect their space and we could damage them by picking them up in a way that they may not recover from. So the best advice is just to, to view them and, and let them be. And not everything is as pretty as the salamanders that we found just a second ago. So take a look around us here. Not only am I surrounded by beautiful rocks in a cave, but I'm also surrounded by these little pellets, bat guano. And you might be saying, I guano know what this stuff is beneficial for, and I'll tell you, it is actually the first commercial fertilizer that was used in the United States. Guano is used to increase the nitrogen count within soils. Talk about a wonderful way to use a waste product to benefit agriculture, and literally, we are surrounded by this in this cave. Obviously, the bats like what they're eating around this place. <laughs> Man, y'all, I am exhausted. What an amazing day. Crawling around in caves in North Georgia. Got so many folks that we want to thank. 
the Southeastern Cave Conservancy, of course. And if you want more information about caves here in the Southeast and how you can help through conservation, click on the link at the bottom of the screen. Of course, if you have other questions about caves in your county or anywhere in the country, you know I'm a big fan of UG Extension on my shirt there. Give them a buzz in your county. They'll be glad to help you. While you're on the internet checking out Extension, like the Georgia Farm Monitor Facebook page. Slide on over and like the Ranger Nick Facebook page. I always appreciate that. And until next time, for the Farm Monitor, I'm Ranger Nick reminding you that enthusiasm is contagious, even underground. So pass it on. Look forward to seeing you right back here again next time. See ya.